teman-teman kembali lagi dengan aku Lala hari ini kita akan melanjutkan lagi game choice The Royal Romance Book masih book 1 ya ampun chapter 9 Race to the Finish at the Royal Regatta you see the change the change to race ahead of the competition kemarin kita udah menang kompetisi regatta Hana oh iya kita kemarin tuh ingat aku uh, kita ke setelah kita hmm wait wait let me let me think let me think kita menang acara regatanya tuh terus itu kita ke kapalnya si Hana ini kasian banget Han, ini kapalnya baru tapi karena si Hana ini nggak punya temen jadi nggak ada orang selain kita dan Hana ya ampun Hana You don't need, you don't need praise from your parents. Once you realize that other people approval, approval doesn't matter, then it's easy to see that the only person you need to please is yourself. Oh, true enough, but it's just hard to do that. I mean, uh, aku bahkan kayak kalau ada orang yang ngeritik aku, langsung aku kayak mikir banget loh. Aku, aku tipe yang pemikir kayak, am I? Am I that worse? This is my fault. Oh my god, why am I stupid? This is my fault. This is my fault. Or is it just me? Karena kayaknya di keluarga aku yang paling kayak gitu cuma aku sih. There is wisdom in that. But I would mind some praise from those close to me. Like you, Lala. You walk over to the top of camp bench and grab a bottle. You know, we could have our own victory celebration right now. For what? We're going to celebrate mm, our friendship, our friendship, you just because. You. We're going to celebrate what a kind, talented, and beautiful person you are. I should spray Hana with the bottle. You shake the bottle and pop the top. Foaming campaign spray out getting bored of you. Ah! Hana jumps away from the spray logging. That was a sneaky attack. Your point? Hana grab a bottle, shake it, then return fire. Ah! Kacha! You and Hana run around the deck until the last of the bottle run dry. We're now late back to the shore. I cannot believe the regatta is already over. I was really dreading today. Oh, Hana. But thanks to you, it was more fun than I ever expected. Expected. Hana. I had fun too. Good. Are you ready? Ya ampun, nekennya susah banget lah. Hana smile at you as chocolate royal reach the dock. Wait, chocolate royal? Ah, ya lupa aku. Kemarin kapal cruise-nya ini kan baru. Di situ si Hana itu minta kita untuk ngasih nama dan aku ngasih nama chocolate royal. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so not creative. Making wave, you party with Hana on her boat. After the race, you and the other sweater gather on the deck. Now the real party begins. Maxwell already told me how excited he is for the beach party. It's not just a party, it's an extravaganza. The press will certainly be in attendance, and it means more time with the prince too. Hello, I'm I'm clicking. Why is it not? Oh my God, this is so hard. Ready to hit the beach for an a royal for a royal extravaganza? Si si, sebentar. Quick, ulang lagi. Ready, ready to hit the beach for a royal extravaganza? Your chance to impress the court and the prince while you have fun in the sand is coming in the next chapter. Okay, nyampe ke chapter 10, beach party. Can you impress the noble at the luxurious beachside 
extravaganza I don't know, maybe <laughs> The Royal Romance Kayaknya aku sama Liam sih, tapi nggak tahu lagi kalau berubah Chapter 10, Beach Party After the regatta, you, Hannah, and Maxwell walk along the docks Ready for the beach extravaganza? I think so? <laughs> Why? Is that something I should have prepped? Will the press be dead? Hmm. Nope, it's just a fun party on one of the most gorgeous private beach beaches in the area. Beaches. Beach. Is 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 my pronunciation pron pronunciation is right? I don't think so, I guess. That's so amazing and the water so un unbelievably beautiful. I cannot wait to get out of this dress and into my bikini. I knew I was forgetting something. Lala, you didn't happen to bring a swim suit, did you? Never mind, we can buy one on the way. And you know, Maxwell, I'm the one who buy it. I am the one. Okay, Hannah, why don't you go on ahead? We'll see you at the beach. See you. You quick, you quickly duck into boutique to try on swimsuit. Boutique. Look like they only have one. Let's see it. The beach bay outfit will let you go in the water and unlock a special scene with Hana and Drake. Okay, so beach bay. Then that's it. Okay, beach bay lah. Beach bay. You are ready for the water or to cozy up with the prince? Oh. Swim star, you unlock a beach bay in the closet. That look good on you. Thanks. Now we better get you to this fancy beach party before we miss all the fun. Let's go. Let's go. A little while later, you arrive at the beach with Maxwell. All right, where's Liam? At? Look like you tied up with the Queen and Madeline right now. Sure, I try to make a move. Better to buy your time. You're likely to get only one shot at spending time with him today. Better to do it when Queen's Regina not around. In the meantime, we might as well eat. Let's eat. I want squid and crab and and everything. Oh, the seafood is gonna be good. Ah, I am so hungry right now. You and Maxwell make your way to a beach puppet. You linger by the table when tab table when Hannah approaches tablet woman. <laughs> I wonder. Have you tried the appetizer? Have you tried the appetizer? What are they? Some kind of avant garde gourmet. What is that? They seem a little fizzy, literally. It's a bit high end, but we shall give it a try. I'm pretty sure it's still moving. Oh, jadi ini makanan yang kayak aku jadi inget yang pernah lihat di TV yang Korea Korea gitu. Jadi kayak kaki uh, tentakelnya gripa yang bayi itu dipotong pas mereka masih hidup jadi pas dimakan itu tentakelnya masih melihat-melihat di mulut gitu itu dicocol sama kecap ya ampun oh my god oke okay. pretty sure it's still moving i think it just wrinkle wrinkle that mean it's fresh True. Well, here goes. You, Maxwell, and Hannah try the appetizer. Uh, um, squishy. Is that really good? 
Well, it is like caviar and very expensive caviar at that. Kind of like fresh salty sea jello. Over by the picnic area, Drake stand by the table loaded with food. He wave you over. How hope you all come hungry because the real food has arrived. There's so much of it. Is this barbecue? Oh yes, classic Americana. You got your pulled pork, chicken kebabs, brisket, ribs, vegetable, and sauce unique to region around the world. And you cannot forget the classic soapy chew. What is classic soap sloppy chew? Uh, what? Yeah, a what? Seasoned ground beef with onion, tomato sauce, and whatever else you feel like throwing in there. Oh, so basically a burger. Right? A burger. Ground beef, onion, tomato sauce, and whatever else you feel like throwing in there. Uh, a burger beef. A burger patty. You had me at not this. It looked messy but intriguing. Trick. I love sloppy joe. They were basically all I ate from middle school. Well, we are not royalty. Thank you, royal. Somebody else around here can appreciate a simple dish. It does seem a little strange to have such casual food here. Liam Tung Royal will appreciate it. A little taste of home. Oh my! Thank you, Royal. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty, Your Highness, Your Prince, whatever. I don't know what is, what is the difference. Thank you. My love. This was his idea? Mostly from a purely selfish angle. I'm not exactly caviar and oyster kind of guy, so... Got it. Anyway, let's dig in. I love a good barbecue. Remind me of cookout on the lawn or summer with family. Oh, Drake, that's actually kind of sweet. It is not. It is not. Now, would you rather talk or would you rather eat? Let's let's talk about what happened to the real trick. You're being awfully nice. True enough. Sharing food with us, talking about family cookout. You need to front or something. This isn't right. This isn't right. Trick school. Happy. Mildly, I'm keeping my eye on you. Don't strain yourself. The group dip into the barbecue assortment. So, who does one eat a sloppy joe? Utensil or hand? It is your choice. There's no protocol? Who are you supposed to elegantly eat at social gathering? It's a, it's a sloppy joe. There's no going to be anything elegant about this. Oh my! You just have to stop caring what everyone thinks, Hannah, like this. Maxwell the fourth foot on his plate. Oh my god, now you're getting it. I think my parents will murder me if they, if they saw me doing that. Yeah, I can feel you, Hannah. My parents will murder me too. Hannah delicately used a fork and knife to take a bite, but no, no. My parents will not murder me, murder me because of something like this. Oh, this is delicious. Mmm, rich, rich, tangy, sweet, and so good. I accept token of appreciation in cash, credit, or check. Your eyes linger on Hannah when she smiles at you, her lips covered in barbecue sauce. What? You, uh... You're looking pretty saucy there, Hannah. Her hands fly to her face, accidentally smearing more sauce over her cheek. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Hannah, I'll get that for you. Grabbing a napkin, you whip. You wipe away the sauce from Hannah's lips. 
Thank you, Lala. I'm here for you. Hey, according to Drake, getting messy is half the point. Exactly. Well, Maxwell, it look like. Well, Maxwell, it look like an. It look like a sauce container exploded on you. So mission accomplished. Maxwell continue eating adorned by sauce smear face and you all enjoy the barbecue as time trip by. Oh. A little while later, everyone sit around the table, the barbecue plate nearly empty. Again, that was so good. Oh my god, aku lapar. How to ask the chef back home to add barbecue chicken to the rotation? I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to enjoy the water. I'm ready to scratch out like a bitch. Bitch, well. Switch yourself. You coming with me, Royal? Hana? Hang on. We need to put on sunscreen before we go. Do we really? I will love some 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 sunscreen. Luckily, I brought enough for everyone. Hana, you are the best. Hana pull off her dress to reveal a bikini underneath. Re reluctantly, Drake hang back and take his shirt off. Who should you apply sunscreen to? I mean, Drake is a man and kita ini kan lagi di acara sayembara ya. Kayaknya nggak pantas banget gitu. Jadi kita apply to Hana. Drake pour some sunscreen into his hand, put some on his face and toast the bottle to you. Thanks, that's good enough for me. I'll see you down by the water. All right, Hana, you need any help? Yes, please. Can you help me reach my bag? You rub my bag, I'll rub yours. I'll, I'll rub yours. Hana turn her back to you. Starting from her shoulder, you rub, you rub sunscreen down her back. Thanks for the help. I'd be a bad friend if I let the sun burn you. I don't want to be a bad friend either. Turn around. It's your turn. Hannah misses sunscreen to your shoulder. Her soft hand make their way down to the small of your back. Your swimsuit. Swimsuit is really pretty. You look good in it. Thanks. Alright, you're all set. Let's find our wayward trick. You and Hannah walk to the sea and find Drake already splashing around in the water. He walks out to greet you. Come on in, the water script. I don't see why he should have all the fun. I'm going in. Lala, you coming? Let's go. Baby, swim with Hana and Drake. Dress to impress. Your beach pay outfit has unlocked a scene with Drake and Hana. Let's do this. Drake run in, you and Hana follow him into the water. Wow! It's colder than I thought. You just need to adjust. Here, let me help. Drake splash Hana, the water crashing into her face. Oh, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> Hana return fire, splashing Drake with a wave of water. Now we're talking. Drake splash water in your direction. Splash water in your direction, but it falls short. Ha <laughs> ha! He's declaring war. It was a warning shot. Let's target three. You wind up then launch as a big a splash, as big a splash as you can at three. Oh! <coughs> Get him! Hana join in and soon you're bombarding Drake from two sides. Okay, <clears throat> I get it. Don't mess with this water cannon. Ah. While we're having competition, let's race, Royal. You're a gluten for punishment today. We'll see how scary you are without Hana helping you out. Alright, you're on. I'll be the judge. We'll, we'll swim to the far east of far end of the beach and back to the to this rock. My God, why I why I cannot talk today? Agree. You and Drake line up near the rock. 
Ready, set. Channel your inner mermaid. Oh my god, my inner mermaid. Uh, okay. A flurry of splash splashes erupt as you and Drake take off to swim out to an early lead. Hmm. I shall speed up. You put more strength into your fluid swimming motion. Yes! Reaching the far end of the beach, you swim close enough that Drake's feet are within reach. I shall sabotage Drake. With one of your strokes, you grab Drake's foot. Hey, what was that? Seaweed? <laughs> it's slow down long enough for you to for you to, to become neck and neck as you both turn and swim back toward the rock. I hope you're ready to lose, Drake. As you're closing toward the finish line, your muscle begin to burn from swimming so far. I shall fight through it. You grit your teeth, your teeth and push through the burn. Not gonna lose to Drake. The finish line is almost within reach. Drake first slow down and you're able to overtake him. Lala wins! You beat Drake in the swimming race. Yes, going swimmingly. Yes! I think I had it. Lala, in celebration of your victory, I want to give you something. Is it a treasure chest? You'll have to wait and see. Hannah dived below the surface from the clear water. You can see her swim to the bottom of the shallow. See the surface, holding out her hand, she show you a brightly colored seesaw. Wow! Surprise! Oh my, how did you find this? I saw it sitting at the bottom while you were racing. They are quite common in this area. So pretty. How come I don't get anything? She'll have swarm faster. Oh, I know. Hannah quickly dug down and the surface. She hand break a sand dollar. For you. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah, uh, yeah. You should let it go. Stupid sand dollar thing. Drake let the solar sand dollar drift back down to the sea floor. I'm starting to feel to feel cold, so I think it's time for some sun bathing. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty down here myself. Water Nim, you spent the afternoon swimming with Drake and Hannah. It was nice to get in the water a bit, huh? You swim ashore, your wet hair glistening in the sun. Maxwell wait for you on the beach and you sit in the sand next to him. You seem a little bit, a little overdressed for the beach. Huh? Don't you want to take off your shirt? No, can do, cannot risk burning up. No SPF in the world is strong enough to protect me. Okay. Well, sun safety is important. More like a veteran would be mortified if I were to appear at the royal function with Fred. Does veteran ruin everything for you? Just most thing, but I'm having fun now that you're here. Are you having a good time? It's nice to spend time with you. Why? Take a break from camping for the bridge. It's nice to... Well, take a break. I don't think I've gotten too much downtime since we got here. It's been a while when... A while... A while when... A pulse and even... This is nice. It's good to rest up. Although, I do see another opportunity for you. Look over there. By the path... The, by the appetizer, you see Penelope dabbing at her eyes with a hand, hand, handkerchief. Look like she's having a hard day. Yeah, poor Penelope. This could be your big chance to get her on your side. Remember, competitor or not, you're going to need the court to think well of you if you're going to be the next queen. So get over there and charm her. You leave Maxwell by the water and head over to where Penelope is standing. Hello, Penelope. Oh, it's you. Penelope, uh, is that any way to greet a friend? Are you always so rude that friend is unbecoming? 
on becoming. Hey, Lolo, that throne is unbecoming. What's the point? The prince isn't here to see it anyway. And what do you even want? It seems like you're having a difficult time today. I suppose it's obvious, isn't it? I got rebel seasick from the regatta and now I'll be stuck here on this beach in the sun for hours. My advisor say I only needed to look pretty at the balls and flirt with the prince. Oh my, but it hasn't gone that way at all. Between you, Olivia and Madeline, I don't have any change at all. What's the point of even staying here? Had a lot. There's more, to, there, there's more to this than just the prince. Huh? Like what? Like forming friendship and bond with the other woman here. I don't know. Even though we're competing now, it won't always be that way. One of us will marry the prince and then it's over. We should at least try to get something more of it. Don't you think? That's not right, but I... Suddenly, Penelope's eyes go white and she drops her plate of appetizer. My, my, oh my goodness, hon, something is attacking me. What is that? Looking down, you see a sand trap has latched a claw onto Penelope's food. I shall gently detach the, detach the trap and fling it away. Come here, little guy. Well, that was. Amazing! You saved me! Hey, you just survived being attacked by a vicious sand crab. Maybe your thunder, thunder, thunder than you think are so... You're so strong than you think. Oh my god, it's so hard. Maybe. But I'm not going to win the prince hurt. I'm going to leave here a failure. Hardly, you can still use your time here to your best advantage. And what's that? By making allies, help me get the court to see me favorably. And when I'm queen, I'll, I'll remember that you were there for me favorably. Silver tone, you convinced Penelope to support you. <laughs> I suppose I could put in good word for you here and there. Thank you. Penelope walk away. Success. Success. You're about to rejoin Maxwell when you bump into Liam. Lala, there you are. Oh my, oke, okay, Prince Liam sampai di sini dulu ya, teman-teman. Uh, the Royal Romance-nya. Kalau kalian suka video aku, please klik like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.